guys. Guys, we are in the death throes of 2015. The last moments of gasping for air and breath. It's going away forever. It's dying. Do, uh, Origins has been announced 29th of this month, unless you're from the future, in which case, fuck off, future boy. This isn't actually as keepable as I wanted it to be, but fuck it. Oh, I'm so happy for it. I mean, I'm not looking forward to the meta because there's going to be a major meta in Origins. Not like in this game so much. I mean, in this game, there are certain decks that definitely trump others and people just play the hell out of those. And that's kind of sad, but it's not going to be like how it's going to be in Origins where, where people, people are incentivized to make quote-unquote good decks. Even though I definitely call out good and bad decks, but still... There's just going to be a heavy meta, and people aren't going to be playing, you know, the less interesting ones. Huh. Demir Colors. I think I'm going to swing first. So yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call what I think the meta of Origins is going to be. And I, I can't wait till I'm wrong, or when I'm wrong. But right now, I think the beginning is going to be very dominated by maybe black-white, or black-green elf decks, and tokens, or elf tokens. I'm, I'm calling it here. I, I'm not sure if that's actually how it's going to play out. I wonder if playing this pre-com shows him that I'm going, that, that it's worth blocking because that thing's going to die anyway. Nope, he didn't figure it out. Okay. I guess he doesn't know that I'm going to kill it. And I'm going to do this at the end of mine because I don't know if he's got something, maybe like Undying Evil or something. So that's going to be sad for me, but I don't mind. Uh, I'm still going to be playing the wackiest decks I can. I'm going to be looking for them on uh, the subreddit, which I have linked down in the description. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm not really big in No Goblins Allowed. That forum's never really done it for me. It's an interesting play. I don't know if he knows that I'm not going to let that live. Huh. He's got anything to do. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did play his land, right? Hmm. <coughs> well, this is gonna suck for him real bad. I mean, me getting Blasting Station out so early, and him relying on uh, low toughness creatures, it's not a good combo for him, man. Not good. I mean, he's got a few more turns. Uh, he's got literally one turn. I put that Goblin Arsonist out even though I already have lethal just as uh, insurance. I feel like I might need to take out a blocker and Goblin Arsonist with Blasting Station can take out a blocker with a toughness of two. Of course if he has a guard Gamazoa then, you know, fuck me, there's nothing I can do about it. But I will still be swinging in regardless, getting in for three and then maybe popping this guy for another two. And then swinging in for lethal, maybe, I don't know. Sort of depends. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be looking, uh, maybe not... Shit, I missed it. God damn it. I did click it, I just, I guess I was just a second too late. Fuck, that could have been an extra damage. Ah, oh, well, that's game anyway, actually. Too bad. So yeah, I'm looking for weird decks. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye open for whatever I can find. I really do like uh, the wonky stuff. Like, I feel like this deck is wacky, right? I mean, it still gets some results, but and it doesn't like entirely rely on the noobishness and the casualness of my of my uh, opponents. Good, good nullify there. So the game. Of course, he can't play another creature. If he 
plays a creature, I want to pop him and then kill him on my next turn. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to wait. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. I don't know why I'm doing that. i got to do this just right. There it is. Okay. Good. Got him. So, whatever. I mean... Post whatever you got, like, anywhere. Uh, in my descriptions, in my, uh... Or even on the forum. Not so much No Goblins Allowed. I don't really... I don't really frequent it too much. By the way, good game from my opponent there. He did it pretty well. He did a pretty nice job. In other news... Drama Town, man. You guys see, uh, what happened with Moby's Chicken Strips recently? I thought that was pretty funny. So he did like a, um, he did a, oh man, you know what, fuck it, I'm keeping this. He did a play with, uh, I came 9 8 about 45 minutes of them uh, beating each other up. And um, I think they did maybe five games, I think. And through it, the uh, Mobius' commentary was pretty, <laughs> I mean, every, the word salty was used extensively, right? <laughs> But um, a lot of people didn't like the way he was acting towards it came in, and like, yeah, and he even said that he rewatched the videos and said he was just a little too negative and nasty about it. But, but I saw, I don't know. I mean, I knew that they're, I thought they were just friends, you know. They were just, you know, screwing around, fucking off, no big deal going on there. But uh, today, or at least last night, Mobius released like this. Uh, he, he made a new video, and, and throughout most of it, he was just sort of apologizing for his attitude. That made me feel kind of bad. Like I didn't think that that there was a whole lot to really be apologizing for. I thought they were just having fun. But, uh... That was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. I didn't, I didn't really like it. I, I thought it was, uh... I, I thought everybody was just having a good time. Oh. I kind of walked into that one, didn't I? Damn. I wish I had a swamp out. Or really, any black... Black, lan uh, black mana. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, obviously, Storm Chaser. Hey, Storm Chaser, I played you. I know you, buddy. Oh, I don't remember if you good. He wasn't the guy who was trolling my ass off, was he? Was he? He's got one too many cards, right? Hmm, I don't think so. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I can play all this, so that's fine. Oh, man. So, yeah, like Mobius, uh, if you're watching this, and I know you're not, but don't worry about it, dude. You're, you're fine. I don't have a problem with it at all, and it's not like you, you're losing views or anything. There you go. Uh, I probably should take out a token, dude. I mean, I know this guy played me before, but maybe he doesn't remember me. But... If you want to kill a token, I, I definitely would suggest that, because I'm getting that back, you know? That's the problem. I'm getting it back. Uh, I am not getting it back now, though. I can't. I will just be throwing my shit away. I want to get Quest for the Gravelord out first, and then I'll throw my shit away. If he wants to hit me for four, that'd be okay for me. Trip Spirits. You know, I really feel like this is the guy who was shit-talking me the other day. He might actually get me this time. Ironically, he's also quiet. Yeah, I really don't care about that. Take me to 15 or even. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'll be using this pre comp just in case I get something I need. Uh, yeah. That'll do. And I mean, most of his shit is up in the air, so I'm probably swinging with this shit anyway. Is it profitable for him to block here? Probably not. Actually, I don't think he should. Yeah. Probably a really bad idea. And if he swings with a 5-5, five five, I'm getting my 5-5 five five out. Oh, going for the air? Okay, good idea. Uh, can't really do much with that. I guess
guess I'll just send this to his face. Wish I had a blasting station or something out. Oh, that's good. Or would I rather take... Hmm. I can take... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. That's not enough, though, is it? I am swinging for three with three goblins now. I'm gonna hold that guy back for blood, for a chunk. Of course, he's got me dead anyway, right? Unless he chooses not to block or to attack with everything? No, I guess not. I think he should have probably just taken that. Because now I have an extra blocker. It's going to be pretty close. So he's going to have to swing in the air, unless he has another... Oh, there it is. Damn. Good game, man. Good game. I would have had him. Can't get that. All right. I like that he was quiet this this game. I think it was the same guy. I'm not really sure. I'll get one more in there. I feel I feel like those went a little quickly. So yeah, I mean, I guess I covered everything I wanted to say, right? Talked a little bit about the drama. Talked a little about uh, the 29th fucking Origins finally dropping. And then I even talked a little bit about where I'm gonna, what I'm gonna plan to do when it does drop. Man, I'm so happy. I'm finally getting over this, uh, this cold of mine. This is scary, man. If I don't get a mountain. I mean, I have more mountains in here than anything else, but... Ugh. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna hold on to this. Oh, that's a little bit better, actually. Wish I was on the play, but this is okay, too. Uh, I will be dropping one Savage Lance first. Oh, he's blue. Huh. You know what? I take that back. I won't. I'm actually going to be dropping a Young Wolf now. Just so I can have him in here and doing as much damage as possible early. I'm not going to have a turn two, but if he's playing blue, and if it's a control deck, which is likely, I'd rather have the Young Wolf out now. Yeah. I, I Yeah. I'd rather have him deal with this. Because again, with the control deck, I have to get in as much damage as I can as quickly as possible. Uh, Hellspark Elemental will be nice here. He's probably only getting in for three. I have a feeling he's going to get countered now. Whoa. Pestermite pre-combat. That's fucking weird. Okay, I mean, you stopped me from dropping Pestermite, so I guess that's what that works for you. Uh, still gonna be swinging. It's not like I'm gonna be blocking your flyer with this guy. Um, yeah, obviously the other Savage Lance is coming out now. I guess that was a good good play. He's obviously mono blue. Uh, that's not gonna help him out too too much. Well, actually, if he's got a bunch of flyers, it sure will. <laughs> Of course, now that he's tapped out, I can pop that Pestermite, and I think I will. I'll do it after attack. Mm. Man, I really would like to put that Raid Bombardment down, but him being tapped out, I, I, I need to have some control over him, and him being mono blue means he's going to have a lot of, uh, he's going to have a lot of flyers. So I'm going to want as much control over those flyers as possible. I am doing this now because, he, like I said, like I don't want him to have a vapor snag, or I don't want him to have all these little shitty blue tricks that he that he's got. I want, I want the board control. I don't want him to have it, and I don't want him to have two creatures up in the air. Oh, it's not two. It's any time he hits me. Yeah, right, fuck it then. All right. So that's getting tapped out. And he's still got counterman open. Something to keep uh, keep in mind. 
Huh. What do you think the play is here? I'm gonna give Hellspark a shot. If that gets countered, which I kinda hope it does, it is not. Okay, that's fine. Well then Hellspark is definitely swinging in, and then I'm dropping my Thrinex. I doubt he's blocking this. That would be pretty funny. Oh, he did have a counter. Alright, he's a good player then. for me to get that Thrinex back. That kind of sucks. And with the uh, Blasting Station out, it would have been really useful, so really good nullify on his part. Not too, too worried about that. Well, I should be, shouldn't I? Yeah, I might as well get in for that, too. This could get out of hand. All those flyers would really suck for me. And he has got, he's got plenty of card draw now. So this isn't looking too good for me right now. Oh, things change though, don't they? Do you think he's got the blocker? Fuck, man. I mean, you know he runs it. He's got three cards in hand. Oh, shit, dude. Okay. I don't want to do this. But I'm gonna drop the Raid Bombardment first. No. That doesn't mean he doesn't have another Nullify. Okay. Cool. That's cool. Boy, just end on this guy. I still get the creature, though. Yeah, but so does he. Fuck. Do I just let him have it? I gotta get rid of that fucking... I got it, man. I don't want to, but I really should. This is gonna suck. This is really, really gonna suck. Oh wait, why did I do that? This isn't combat step. Holy shit. Wow, I, I think I just threw this game because of my utter stupidity. <laughs> I thought I was at least in combat step and I would've gotten another, go another goblin. No, now I'm totally fucked. Yeah, this is this is totally over now. Uh, I think this was over regardless of me using that young wolf anyway, but it still sucks. Because I wouldn't have been able to block any of this. He's getting three cards anyway. He's probably got the counter now if he didn't already. I don't think he did because he was down to only one or two, but... Now we've definitely got it. Oh, that sucks so bad. Uh, let's see if this gets countered. Gee, I wonder. Really? Wow, man, all those cards. Okay, now I got the goblin. See, that's what I was expecting last time. I mean... Actually, I should have I should have done the hell spark first too. Oh, he's not blocking it. Huh. Uh, I have to now. There was really no reason not to not to swing with the Hellspark also. That would have been an extra three. Whoops. But this does save me. This does get me down to one life now. Assuming he still swings with the Talarand. Oh no, I'm dead. Fuck. Alright, good game, man. God damn. Yeah, he just had me. He had me since that Voyage's End, I think. Or at least since the Nullify, maybe even earlier than that, huh? Once that Sprouting Thrinex was gone, my board control was gone. It's just completely obliterated, and 
and even my sad little blasting station couldn't have fixed it. So, this is over. I mean, it, it, it really doesn't even matter, but I'll block anyway. Oh well. Um, was that fast? I feel like that was fast, so I want to go one more game real fast here. Now, you know what? I'll, I'll make it a different video. I think I got three in right now, right? Yeah. All right. It's going to be the next video. So I'll, I'm just going to pause it and then redo it.